Sex here on Sunrise on 3FM 92.7. Get into a conversation in a bit, but I read for you portions of uh, an article written by Professor Jiman Bedwa Kosa, dated the uh, 19th of June 2017. It says, A code of discipline that I learned. Born in the Gold Coast proud to independence, I was in primary school when the Young Pioneer Movement was founded. It was to provide a constant source of education on patriotism and civic responsibility. The movement was founded on the same principles as the West German, Israeli, British, American, Russian, and Chinese youth movements. The founders went to all these countries to find out what mechanisms they had for inculcating the spirit of patriotism into their youth and realized it was through youth clubs. British had brought into Gold Coast wolf clubs and scouts for boys and brownies and girl guides for girls. And in all of this, we learned service to society and community and how to be prepared at all times to be called into action for the country. The lessons learned from Israel, West Germany and Russia were the basis for the Young Pioneer Movement. Now, what was the Young Pioneer Movement? It was introduced to many primary schools in 1964, and there were many of us who joined. That's Professor Ajima Bedouakusa. It was not compulsory then, and many others were in their other youth clubs as mentioned above. Our uniforms and shoes were the selling point, and many throughout the country joined because of those items. We were taught how to march, and we were showpieces at Independence and Republic Days and of course, the birthday of Osaji for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. But that was not all. We were taught the 12 point code of discipline, which has lived with me for over 50 years and has served me very well. Now, let's get to the 12 point code of discipline love of country, discipline and obedience, honesty and morality, punctuality protection of state property, reliability and secrecy, comradeship and forbearance, love of work, field craft, and affectedness, selflessness, striving to faultlessness. These were the 12-point code of discipline. Now, this morning, we're not talking about the young pioneers. We're talking about the boys' brigade. Because it's, it's just in a similar vein, except to say that the Boys' Brigade is a Christian organization trying to instill discipline in the boys and, if you will, the girls for the advancement of Christ's kingdom on earth. Did you ever join any of these groupings, Girls Guide? Uh Girls I Brigade. Did. I did, I did. Which yeah. one did you join? Um, so I joined the Girl Scouts for a very brief time. Okay. That was because on Fridays, um, the school that I went to, you had to uh, have some type of club. Mm. You had to belong to some type of club. Right. It was compulsory. So mm. there were a myriad of clubs to join. Uh, but the one that caught my attention initially was the Girl Scouts. So I had the uniform. It was a brown dress. Mm. Then you get uh, a yellow scarf, scarf with to a go waggle. along. Yes, to go <laughs> along with it. Uh, but I didn't stay in, in Girl Scout for longer. So I joined mm. another club, Mr. Agbozo Fan Club. Okay. That was for the <laughs> naughty boys and girls who have decided they don't have any club. So Mr. Agbozo said, you join my fan club. So mm. he goes around with the cane and he say, Agbozo fan club, scatter, scatter, scatter. <laughs> I wish I'd stayed with the Girl Scout, but yeah. it was an exciting time. Right. I was a Boy Scout too at some point and then a Boys Brigade. But we've been joined in studio by Reverend David Mlote. Agloy. He is Executive Secretary of the Boys Brigade Ghana. Morning, sir. Thank you for your time. Good how, morning. How are you? We're doing fine. BB. Nice be sure, it's <laughs> What is the Boys Brigade? Yeah, Boys Brigade is a uniform organization. It is youth focused and um, youth oriented. Um, it started from uh, Scotland, where Sir William Alexander Smith. Mm. Um, championed it or let's say founded it mm. with two friends james and john hill um in 1883 so um 
basically um, it came into being because he found it he found it difficult controlling the boys at mm. Sunday school right and so comparing himself in the military when he's able to just give a command and then everybody fall in line mm. and he's not able to control this little one <laughs> uh, it was a problem to him right. so he thought it's wise to incorporate into the Sunday school discipline and then the Christian religion as mm. well. So that is how come he started the Boys Brigade. Now it came into Ghana in uh, 1911. Okay. Uh, where um, Reverend uh, Noah Anan um, brought it, and then um, then in the Presbyterian um, Christian Book right. School. Yeah. So um, from there, it it started spreading until the world war came into being and mm. then um as it were it vanished a little right and then resurfaced in 1951 52 mm -hmm. where we have currently the first uh, accra company that mm. is wesley methodist mm. being the first company we have right so um the boys brigade uh, seeks to advance christ's kingdom among boys mm. and the promotion of habits of obedience reverence discipline self-respect and all that tends towards a uh, true christian manliness great i see uh helen if you have any questions at any point you just uh, fire away mm, absolutely um, how how do these things i mean i just read the 12 point code and i find that some of the things that you also mentioned that read right now yes. has been the object of the of the boys brigade that's right it's, it's finds presence here as well yeah. Um, there's discipline, there's loyalty, yeah. there's obedience, yeah. and all things that will make you, you know, a, a consummate human being to live in society for the advancement of society, in yeah. this particular case, yeah. of Christ's kingdom on earth. That's right. All right. Uh, would you say that these things, these lessons, these tenets have an impact on the boys and the girls and in, in terms of their thinking about national development? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. You see, um, when these things are incorporated into them, uh, it becomes um, character uh, being exhibited. It is said that when a thing is done once, um, it's an act. When you continue doing, it becomes a habit. And mm. when a habit is nest, uh, becomes character. character so right. mm. um, we build in them this character. And this character, to a large extent, affects their way of doing things. and. Um, and that is how come they are able to positively uh, affect their, mm. uh, their peers, the uh, family, and then mm. the country at, at, at large. Mm. So um, everything that tends towards a true Christian manliness and the points um, you just brought right. out mm. um, all together um, build up the totality. Mm. The Boys Brigade also believe in the um, the four-sided uh, figure, where we, we pick it from Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Yep. And Jesus grew in wisdom mm -hmm. and stature and had favor with men mm -hmm. and God. So um, with the wisdom as a cognitive development, right. and then stature, we have the physical, and we have other physical things we do that help uh, build this physique. Mm -hmm. And then we also... Uh, strengthen them to have network, mm -hmm. socialize, have relationship with beings because we are social beings. We are not uh, lone rangers, island on our own. Mm -hmm. We must relate. Uh -huh. So we exist for each other. So we teach and incorporate into them these virtues. And then um, Christianity, that is a spiritual life, mm -hmm. is also built. Um, the Boys Brigade... Um, is a church-based organization, right. and it is ecumenical in nature. Uh, currently, we are in um, the Methodist Church, mm -hmm. Ghana, Presbyterian Church of Ghana, mm -hmm. EP Church, um, Ghana, Anglican Church, right. uh, AME Zion, mm -hmm. Perez Chapel uh, International, and Jesus Generation. Currently, we have seven. Five of them are the founding mm -hmm. churches that are the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, mm -hmm. Methodist Church, EME, mm -hmm. Zion, Anglican, and EP. They are the founding churches. Right. And then the other two 
um, are affiliates mm. churches. So it's open to. It's oh, open for anybody to join. Exactly. You're, you're wearing a big man's uniform. <laughs> <laughs> because the, the boys the boys and girls brigade that we see around there yes. now have their white and blue, yeah. you know, yes. and then, but yeah. you're wearing a big man's uniform. Oh, this. Uh, the pecs on your shoulder <laughs> is even totally different. Get, run us through. Um, so you enter um, Abba Fresh. Yeah. Um, how do you climb up to become a big man like you? What is the structure? Well, um, it it ranges from um, four to nineteen. Mm-hmm. Now um, four to let's say um, eight years becomes the anchor session. Okay. Then we have the um, eight to twelve being the junior section, mm-hmm. and then twelve to sixteen the company session, and then the nineteen to um, uh, sixteen to nineteen is a senior session. Okay. Now, if anybody wants to become an officer, mm-hmm. then you go through command courses, okay. and that qualifies you to become an officer. You may have gone through as a boy, and might have checked through um, up to junior uh, senior session. Mm-hmm. But if you are not trained, you can become uh, officer. Right. So this is the uniform B of mm-hmm. of the officers. Right. Aha. Uh-huh. So. Um, currently, we we we've even lowered the the age mm-hmm. uh, to below four. Okay. The idea is um, one catch them young, and then um, it's a kind of um, credit to grave strategy. Right. Uh-huh. So that uh, even at birth, mm-hmm. uh, with the permission of the the, the parents, mm. um, we just give them a label. Mm. Uh, if it's a boy, blue. Um, pin or something, right. then we start to uh, visit on their birthdays mm. till they get to age four. Where they, where they can enter. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Your your uh, motto says what? Sure and steadfast. Exactly. Where from that? Oh, sure and steadfast, it's from the Hebrews. Mm. Yeah. It's from the Hebrews scripture, mm-hmm. um, chapter nine, uh, chapter six, verse uh, 19. Yeah. Mm. Um, and it's sort of uh, encourage them to um, get firm mm-hmm. and firmer with the anchor. Yes. Right. So that if we are anchor, it's grounded in Christ, mm-hmm. um, then you are firm, rooted in Christ. Yeah. What, what would you say has been the contribution of the Boys Brigade and the Girls Brigade in Ghana in terms of national development? So many. So many um, with the boys uh, brigade and both. Um, it goes for the girls brigade too because they are counterpart and mm-hmm. we do a lot of mm-hmm. things in common. Now, it would um, attest to states men. Mm-hmm. Of course, you were you were just saying that you you were once mm-hmm. a, a boys right a, a brigade mm-hmm. uh-huh. and a boy scout as well. But let's emphasize the boys' brigade because I believe that is where you had your uh, Christian, serious Christian virtues. And uh, looking at where you are now, mm-hmm. other people are doing great things. And um, Dr. Baumia also mm-hmm. um, stated that he was once, um, no, His Excellency, right? Right. Yes, our, our vice president, right. the second mm-hmm. person of the land. Um, attest to the fact that it was once um, a boys brigade. Exactly. So so many people are doing wonderful things. Like and they can, exactly. Mm. They can trace their background to the um, boys brigade. Mm. Now we have so many of them also in the forces. Um, being the uh, Navy, the uh, Air Force, the police, mm. uh, even fire service, uh, uh, um, this these other securities mm. around prisons mm. and stuff we have a lot of our people there especially with the band sessions right the band sessions that's interesting but that's because you have the what the bands at, at the various branches exactly mm. or the various companies the various just, mm. yes companies why is it important to have the band as part of what you do can the boys begin to run without a band oh we can mm. but uh, it has become part of us mm-hmm. So it, it is a, a, a core part of us. Um, it is a means to an end. Um, what we do is to um, use it to draw mm-hmm. people to Christ. Remember I talked about religion and discipline. Now the band is, and the drill 
as part of the discipline we inculcate right. into them. Right. So even with the with the bits mm -hmm. of the ban, um, speaks to them, sends signals to them, mm -hmm. and then they understand the communication of the band, the trumpet, and right. all that. Mm -hmm. Then we can also attest to the fact that every good husband and every good uh, wife mm -hmm. you see around, they have their background from the boys and girls. <laughs> <begins. laughs> Helen. <laughs> I, cl I, I claim it. I was there for about one month. So you, you I claim it. Ah, <laughs> that's wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, Helen, That's you, wonderful. You went to you went to Wesley Girls. I did. Um, was there was there a girls brigade at Wesley Girls? School? I don't. It's believe, a Methodist school, right? It's a Methodist school. Mm. I don't believe so. But I was um, in the Air Force cadets right, right from form one. I actually became the fourth in command, regimental mm. sergeant mm. major. So, RSM. RSM. So I thoroughly enjoyed that, and that was also because of that you know brief background in mm. Girl, Girl mm. Scouts. I mm. always regretted not going all the way because I saw the seniors, their uniforms would change, the badges were increasing. Mm. Right. So I thought once I got to SS, I would do something that is regimented like this. I see. Yeah. I see. Now, the, the, this regimented uh, space for the boys, doesn't it make them so rigid? Not really. Hmm. Like I emphasize that uh, we build the holistic person. Okay. Hmm. So a little of this, a little of that. So all together um, contribute to their makeup. Okay. But... Um, to a large extent, mm -hmm. um, it makes them discipline. It makes them discipline. Mm -hmm. For instance, if I say right turn, left turn, you hear the command and you mm -hmm. have to obey the command. Right. So to a large extent, these things um, help mold them mm -hmm. in their various um, Oh, I see. Asen Subwachi is also a, a member of the Boys Brigade, a minister yeah. for uh, roads, right? Yeah. It's different. He no longer works in housing, right? No, okay, Minister roads. for Roads, there yes. Uh, I see. And highways. It's, that's him. They're pictured yeah. there. If you go on our Facebook page, yeah. you can get a, a lot more. And the one beside him at uh, Foucault, Mr. Foucault. Right. Uh, he's currently the chairperson of the Asante Regional okay. Council. Mm. Yeah. Let, let's talk about, um, we've spoken about the impact, but you also have the... Let, let me also emphasize that mm. we have a lot of the clergymen okay the lot of them who came through your hands exactly right exactly now let, let's talk about um the celebration that you have marked for for is it brigade week or brigade month what is it it's brigade month brigade month okay. yes every year we 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 um, choose march for the brigade awareness month mm -hmm. proud to that we have junior section awareness month that is the whole of february Mm -hmm. You know, junior session is the little ones right. from, let's say, age 4 to 12. Right. So they also have the, the activities they run through. So the whole of February was for them. But the whole of March is brigade in total, totality, right. and the awareness uh, month. So there are a few programs uh, outlined, which is ongoing. Mm -hmm. The month was launched, um, 20. 6th February and then 5th March. Then 6th March, mm -hmm. we had flag raising and then a celebration of the Independence Day very, at various parks mm -hmm. and then stadium. Mm -hmm. um, we also have from 6th of March to 28th, mm -hmm. which is yet to come, mm -hmm. at sanitation, cleanups, campaign, um, at the manses and mm -hmm. then the, the chapels. Uh, we encourage all companies to do that cleanup mm -hmm. at various places they worship so that their presence becomes stronger there. Mm -hmm. Now we also have Bible studies with key people, mm -hmm. uh, key characters, and then outlines um, that they are going through. And then at the end of the day, they will have competition, which is yet to come. Mm -hmm. But the grand finale of mm -hmm. this month, Awareness Month, mm -hmm. is the 6th April. Sete Pro. Okay. Sete Pro. Mm. That is where we have the uh, Festival of the Boyhood. Mm. Festival of Boyhood. Festival of the Boyhood. Yes, at Fadama. Fadama. Astrotev. Okay. Yeah. L let's um, take a look at this. I, I remember as a Boy Scout, yeah. we used to go to camps, right? Yeah. We used to volunteer. 
on people's farms yeah and then you know we go and help them and then they have some of the food they give to us we mm. come back home from the camp and you brought some cassava and some palm nuts and your mother takes them and everybody's happy in the house yeah do, do you get boys brigade to be doing that weeding oh. around the community yeah. serving senior citizens volunteering do they do that we do it we do it um you know we are also connected to uh husa mm. And head of state awards. Head of right. state awards. So we do this campaign. You know, they go for the bronze, they go mm. for silver, they expedition. go for the expedition, they mm. go for the gold. Okay? Right. And then um, we also encourage our people to do these services. For instance, this whole month that we're celebrating there, mm -hmm. uh, the BB Awareness Month, there were times we encouraged them to go to the stations, do cleanups and stuff. Mm. So we incorporate into them this patriotism and um, the uh, ability to offer mm. um, your service to the community do, do, what do you think sir, as um as as a leader of a group like the boys mm. boys brigade yeah what do you think is missing in in our national psyche in terms of patriotism and volunteerism that we need to bring back because these days talking about volunteering and yeah, they are not really. They have to pay them. <laughs> you mm. talk to people about nationalism. So, uh, what do you think is missing? Um, well, I'll say partly, um, it's the education, mm. and then the need to do these things. Somebody must teach. Mm. Um, when these things were um, very common and eminent. It was a fact that it was done in the schools where the teachers mm. by themselves, mm. they were doing these things. And they made sure that they incorporated into um, the pupils mm -hmm. or students. Right. But these days, we, I don't know whether it's because of this Western culture, a lot of things are being taken off. Mm. Like these days, you don't care. But scriptures say that spare the, the rod. Rod and spoil the child. Exa exactly. Um, these days, there are some punishments you, you there. <laughs> Corporal punishment, you mean. Mm. You, you see, so some of these things are missing. And the teachers we also have, it's like, well, I'm supposed to teach whether they understand. Not, not all of them do. Mm. Whether they understand or not, I must do my thing. Right. Because I'm not to. I'm, I'm not supposed to kill. Mm. I'm not supposed to. You see, uh, previously, they said it takes two to give mm. birth. Right. But the whole community takes care of. Takes care to of. Raise the child, yeah. nature. Mm. But these days, you then not correct somebody's son or daughter. Mm. So all these things contribute to the fact that they cherish um, um, uh, virtues. The, 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 the morals, mm. they are all being washed away. It's like, okay, um, I'm paddling my own canoe, mm. each one for himself. God for us all. But, but, but you, your organization has uniforms yeah. for, for both the junior section, senior section, and, and officers and everybody else. I can imagine that when you put people in uniform, it becomes difficult for them to misbehave exactly. because they can be identified. They, they exactly. know they are marked. Exactly. Uh, but, but then on the national scale, uh, you don't see that happening. I mean, you don't see people being as disciplined as you, ex as you expect them, people giving of themselves in terms of patriotism and nationalism. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking at how we can change the face of things using the boy, Boys Brigade example. I'm okay. looking at it. Well, we are doing our part, mm. but is it must continue somewhere. Okay. And it must be all hands on deck. Mm. And if we all go for the Sankofa, uh, we go back uh, and then start um, doing what we're doing, mm -hmm. okay? Um, I think these things will fall in place. There are some um, countries are here. You, you then not um, drink water and then throw the, yeah. the sachet or whatever uh, on the floor or, but this, it's, it's been done at certain places in this country. Mm. Should somebody tell you not to do this? Should know. You should know. And these things must begin from somewhere. Great. Now, mm. the emphasis of a boys' brigade, mm. we are the Christian touch okay. to our, 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 our teachings. Right. Uh -huh. So 
at, at the end of the day, we want the, the child to have that integrity okay. as well. And then to also be built up spiritually mm. and morally. Great. So we're doing our, our, our part. Okay, let's hear the final word from lawyer Moses Fuamweni. He's joining us on the phone line as well as we in the studio, but uh, he couldn't join us. Counsel, good morning, and uh, BB. Sure and steadfast, Johnny. How are you doing? I am <laughs> greater than Accra. I know. <laughs> I know. I love that. I love the greater than Accra. Great. And people don't know that you are one of the patrons of the Boys Brigade in the Anglican Church. <laughs> uh, uh, of they, course. They, they yeah. don't know. So these days when they see you, they should say, BB, so you can respond well. <laughs> sure to and steadfast. So, 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 Johnny, when is that enrollment coming on? Because can it, uh, you know, Bishop uh, Toto says we should do the enrollment. You tell all Ghanaians, when is the enrollment coming on? <laughs> I, shall tell, I shall tell you in good time. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but Council, you. this morning we have had a very interesting conversation um, learning from the example of the Boys Brigade and to try and whip up um, nationalism, patriotism and all of that. Uh, in, a, in a minute as we wrap up this conversation, what would you say to us, what can we do using this uh, uh, brigade month and climax in the next month? What can we do, really? Well, John, th thanks a lot, Johnny. Um, what we can do is what we're doing. Uh, that is spreading the message. And I am an example, or so is an example. The vice president is a good example of how, if you have a structured way of grooming uh, boys, and you can even add the girls in, in the knowledge of the Lord. That is the moral, Christian moral aspect. And in the military discipline, which is where our founder comes from, and you add education to it, then you have a dynamite. So that's how you do it. You, you, you groom the children in these three critical areas, and they will grow up to be very strong and very bold. How do you think we're able to counter the LGBT movement, which is the strongest social movement the world has had in the 21st century? How do you think we've managed to do it in Ghana? Mm. It's because we were trained in the Boys' Brigade. We're afraid, we will say it as it is, and we have the intelligence to structure a solution to the problem. So that's how we do it, uh, Johnny. Great. I'm grateful that you could spend time with us this morning. Thank you so much indeed, sir, for your time. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks great, very much. Great. Uh, hold, on, hold on, please. Osofo wants to say a word. <laughs> Greetings, sir. <laughs> oh, Osofo. I trust that you're doing fine. <laughs> Where's Timo? Where's Timo? He didn't come. Yeah, he Timo couldn't make it. It, it will be well. And, yes. we, you know, by the way, we're having a huge boyhood festival yeah. on the 6th of April, which right. is Saturday, I right. think mm. two weeks from now. And, John, I hope you can bring your camera crew around. We're hoping to have the vice president along and all our old boys brigade uh, 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 the, the people right. to join us in a huge festival of boyhood mm. to end, you know, our month of awareness. So all of you should join us. It's going to be a fantastic occasion. Great, great. Thank some you very much. Right. Okay. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, well, time is not our well, friend right so, now. So let me just mm. briefly uh, enumerate some of the activities mm. that will be there. Quickly, please. Yes, we'll have the flag raising, the flag um, presentation. We also have band display and gymnastics. Mm. We have um, sketches, drama. Um, and then poetry, recital. And you see, with the junior session, they do figure matching. They don't do mm. drill. So we have shades and types of figure match. Mm. We also have drill by the company and uh, senior section. And we also have um, the drills. We have mm. different ones. We have silent drill mm. and stuff. All will be demonstrated. Bible class demonstration. Mm. If we say mm. Bible class, we have peculiar way of doing it. It will be showcased. We have cultural displays, soul drill. We have youth parliament. Okay. Youth parliament, it will also be than the first aid firefighting mm. and others all will be done the, the idea is to unearth the talents mm. and to showcase what we've been doing right. with the with the various companies and the Great. various churches thank you so i'll encourage everybody mm. to come including yourself thank you so for david we're grateful <laughs> and uh, we thank you very much indeed uh, Thank you for coming. We're grateful. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very thank much you. indeed. We're getting into Community Connect oh, my in listeners. a bit. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, community Connect in a bit. Yes.